Hey Caster, Derek here, Break Six Clan. In a previous video, you saw me fail making this gadget cache. But with your comments and suggestions, will that help me be able to salvage this build? Well, only time will tell. So let's get started. So before I even get to explaining how we're gonna fix this this week, I want to say thank you for all those that commented, emailed me, messaged me on Facebook or Instagram and was just sending me messages about how different solutions may work to fix this. I really do appreciate it. And because of those suggestions, I kind of realized that, you know what? I was overthinking this and I just really thank you for those solutions, but I'm not gonna show you the solution until the end because, well, I want you to watch the rest of the video. I'm just gonna be honest, all right? So, but if you didn't watch the last video, go check it out before you watch this one. Uh, I have a link right up here for it. So just go check that out. But what was happening was that this box for the latch, uh, for the keypad, kept hitting either the strike plate or the side of the wall and would not allow the door to open. So what the solution is, is really simple and we're gonna fix that. But what I really wanna talk about right now is one of the things I wanted to add into this besides the really cool keypad was a sound module. The sound module is actually a really great aspect to adding this in. And this is just one that I've picked up from Amazon and I will have a link down in the description so that you might be able to get one of these. And that is an affiliate link, so it does help the channel if you click on it. But I'm just gonna simply add the sound module to it and I can actually record my own sounds that on here or give like the solution or the puzzle of how to get into the keypad but there's some slight modifications I wanna do with it. Like, I don't wanna use this push button that's here. I'm actually gonna add a different button into it. And then, of course, just kinda of record my own puzzle, but I'm not really sure what that is, so I won't do that yet. But, so let's go ahead and take this door off for now so I can go ahead and get the button and the sound module in place. So let's get that put together. All right, so now I have the sound module in place and I put it on the back wall here. One, the biggest reason is because it's gonna make it really easy for me to come in and change the batteries that are here at the top, which from time to time, I'm gonna have to do that because, I mean, it's, it's a, I gotta change them because of cash maintenance, you know? But the other thing is I wanted it closer to the top because when you put in the contents into the cache, um, I'm hoping that more than likely that they're not gonna hit it as easy. So we'll keep that from getting damaged. Now the next thing I need to do is come in here and cut the button off and go ahead and solder it to the new button um, because I wanted to use these waterproof buttons that I really like these momentary switches and that's all this is, is a momentary switch. So I just need to go in and replace that. Now one other thing about this sound module, it will record up to two minutes of audio. So that gives you quite a bit of time to give the solution, the hint, the puzzle that you wanna to use to be able to get into that keypad. So now let's go ahead and get this soldered. Okay, so now I've got the button in place and it's soldered and it's ready to go and it does work. And right now it's just got this kind of weird yodely sound that came with the module itself. But so here is the test of how this works. Okay, enough of that. So it does work. And so now the next step is, is for me to go ahead and solve the problem that I failed on last week, which was the door. And so let's go ahead and get that done and then you'll see the new solution. All right, so now I've got the door in place and it works really great. And, oh wait, 
you can't see how the actual solution is. So let me turn this around and let you see. So here is the solution and it was a really great solution and several people have actually mentioned this and I was like, holy cow, you're right. I was way overthinking this. So what the solution was, was to instead of the hinges being here on the side, uh, actually put the hinge either on the bottom or on the top. And I was like, holy cow, that would completely solve the issue. So there were several of you that mentioned that and I just really appreciated that. And that is such a great solution. Now, let me show you how this opens now. So you come up, of course, hit the button, get the solution, enter it in, and there it opens up. And then once it's open, you're able to get to the logbook and the other contents that are actually inside of this cache. Now, I really do love the solution, and I really do want to say thank you to all of you that commented and helped me to be able to salvage this build. And like, once again, I was just overthinking it, and that happens a lot of times. And so just, you know, as gadget builders, as you come up maybe against the wall, reach out to other builders and ask for help. I mean, I haven't found anybody that has not been willing to help with a solution before. So, but I just want to thank you. Oh, I do want to make mention of one other comment that I really did like. They said that they fail to success. And that's really what a lot of times building these gadgets are is a trial and error. So I really do appreciate all of you for doing this. Now, I want to also mention that the keypad, the momentary switch button here, and the sound module are all links down in the description and those are affiliate links. So anything you click on there really does help the channel and I really do appreciate it. Thank you once again, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the solution, but hey, don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these videos just right over here and find the story behind the cache.